fish on. Live take. Let's have him then. Come on! And this beauty ripped off. Spot has just hit another decent fish. James the Koi Whisperer, back out in the garden. I've been carp fisherman for well over 20 years now, and I'll catch you in a bit. We're probably going to sit here for a little bit and chill out and really cool. So to start with, we have the Nash Dwarf Ruckle. Still got the four-fold sleep system from Nash. I've sorted out everything that I need. I've got my carp mat, I've got my bed. I've been carp fisherman for well over 20 years now. And uh, I have done a few videos on the channel before, but this year I'm planning to do a few more. This is the main passion about this channel, my koi pond. Very, very keen in what I do with this hobby. I've just, as you can see, I've just purchased some new items. I'm planning to do a lot more lightweight fishing this year hit the bank nice and easy and I'd like to take you on a journey with me if you've never been carp fishing before if you don't really know what it's all about I mean happy days stick around and uh, find out what it's all about but if you have and you're interested in some of this new equipment the main reason why I went with this Nash Dwarf stuff is because it's a lot cheaper than what the Nash Stoke stuff is for me just going lightweight I just really wanted something you know I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg I mean the bed chair that I've got there we're going to open it up do an unboxing and I've also got the, the ruckle there just the idea behind it all, nice and lightweight, hit the bank nice and easy, and uh, obviously try to catch a few carp this year. I'm sure you're going to love my carp fishing videos as well. So let's crack right into this, open it up, see what we got, have a little bit of a review of it, and um, we'll go from there. So to start with, we have the Nash Dwarf Ruckle, which retails at £109 I paid for this. Pretty expensive for a backpack at the end of the day, but this carp fishing gear is expensive for the same as what the koi stuff is. I've also got the four-fold sleep system from Nash, the Dwarf, retailing in at £260 in the UK. So uh, let's crack on, open this up, see what it's all about, and we'll be back with you in a minute. But I'll tell you one thing, if you haven't seen me koi videos, go and check them out, because I've built all this pond myself. But let's get stuck into this. Right well then, so we've got the Nash Dwarf Ruckle, Got this off Amazon, so uh, I'll leave the links in the description of this video if anyone's interested in any of these items. Yeah, main reason why I wanted to share it with you guys because I was looking myself and I couldn't really find many videos of a proper, uh, you know, a proper review on it, unboxing the size and what you can actually fit in it as well. To be more and more honest with you, but um, first look at it. It's got the sort of waterproof top to it by the looks of it got a very nice camo sort of texture to the bag it's not quite as big as what i thought the bag was going to be it's got a underneath it's got like a ground sheet mat so you can put it down I, i'm not a type of carp angler that puts the ground sheet down for my bivvies i just set the bed chair up whack a brolly system up leave the front open and i'll probably show you my little setup out here in the garden because i'm actually off work at the moment with covid not that i feel very ill but i'm not allowed to go to work i've tested positive so i've got to stay home so I'm out here in the garden, doing my bit. But yeah, getting back to this. So it's got a waterproof back. We've got all of the padding on the back of it. But the main reason I went with it is you can put the, uh, you can put the ground sheet bit down, lay it down in your bivvy, like so, and you can pretty much put all of your bits and pieces all ready to rock and roll, easy to get to. You can leave it all set up like that for the whole session. Tackle, bait, food, whatever you want to do. I'll show you how we load it up as we go later on in this video. But first look at it, very, very impressed. Definitely worth the money. Inside of the bag, you've got your main compartment is just one big bit. You can put your smaller pouches into it. And then looking inside of it, you've got loads of little compartments up there to put little items that, you know, you want to get to nice and easy, but you want somewhere for them to be stored away. So I'll get all this set up and put all my equipment in there for a 24 hour session. What generally 90% of my fishing is these days, having a family, I can't do no week-long sessions like I used to. But that being said, more than happy with this bit of equipment, and um, yeah, happy days. It's also got two side pockets as well, one that side, and one that side for your bank sticks and buzz bars. Next thing we're going to have a take a look at that bed chair, and if it's as good quality as what this is, I'll be more than happy. I'll just pop this one straight out, it feels super, super light anyway. This is how it comes straight out of the box. For how lightweight that is, one hand straight on the shoulder, and I'm walking down the bank and I'm fishing. Bivy across there, little bag on there, backpack on, and I'm trekking on. 
Look out now, I might even get tempted to try to catch one of they on. Look out. So it looks like you've got a buckle strap. That one opens up. It has got the decent feet on it. You can know it's an easy to set up. Move that one out. Next thing I thought you've got to test it out, make sure it can take the weight. For a quick overnighter, happy days, thank your mother for the rabbits, and I'll catch you in a bit. So I'm probably going to sit here for a little bit and chill out with these coins. Yeah, more than happy with this to be fair. Nice and lightweight. So a real quick look, it's got a lovely sort of camo effect pattern on it. It's got decent quality zips built into the, uh, built into the sleeping bag itself. Decent strap and the mattress, decent thickness. To be fair with you, the actual uh, the sleeping bag itself is not the thickest sleeping bag in the world, but it's more than good enough for staying overnight, keeping you warm. You ain't going to get cold in that one. For a quick overnighter, jobs are good in to be fair. More than happy with it, the quality. Zip that one up like that. Yeah, that being said, look, get yourself on the Nast Wharf. Super, super good quality for the value what I paid for this bed share. Lightweight, easy to carry. Yeah, happy days. More than happy with it. Quality. Right then, so moving out into my fishing shed. That's the old Nash bed chair that I've got up there. Got the tracker chairs, loads of luggage here. And I just found it's just too much stuff for me to take every single time. I do use the Nash scope rods now. Idea behind it all, what I'm doing today is just going to go through this bag, see if I can get all of the equipment that I actually need. I'm going to go through this bag, go through it, and just put all of the items that I need just for a 24 hour session into that bag so I can pick it up get it on my back, get them on my back, carry that bed chair, get myself my brolly system. I am thinking about buying a Nash, like a Nash scope brolly. I've got the Tempest V2 down there, what I take sometimes, but it's a big bulky item, it's a big bag, and I just want to go lightweight this year. Probably going to sell that bed chair as well. Probably going to sell that wheelbarrow, and I just want to go lightweight this year, keep everything to a minimal. I'm going to take this bag into the conservatory, and we're going to see if I can get as many items as I can into that bag, see how much that other bag holds and we'll take it from there i'll tell you what though guys anyone else like me got a huge massive bag here that i take what i normally take carp fishing with me it's got about 100 kilos in it i don't even need half of the stuff in there i just take it with me <laughs> full of stuff decent bag mine and it's not bad if you're going for a week but i need it to go into there right then so apart from the old bivy i have gone through all of my tackle today i've sorted out everything that i need i've got my cart mat i've got my bed I've got my bag full of everything that I need. Keep me boilies and food and bits and pieces, water and stuff like that I need into that bag. My free rods set up there. Yeah, I'm going to unpack this bag in a minute, show you how much stuff I got in there. I was very, very surprised how much I got in there. And as you go for all of this gear and all of this stuff is all getting sold. By the time you see this video, everything you see here would have all been sold. I'm going to put it on a Facebook marketplace and it will just be gone instantly. I'm going to sell it cheap as chips just to get it gone. This here is an absolute quality bed chair. Can't knock it. Can't fault it. Just the size of it more than anything. It, all of this is going. Load of bait that I don't need. I just buy so much stuff. And I've had it in the cupboard. I didn't go hardly at all last year. And the rain, main reason being is because I want it quick and easy this year. And it will make me get out on the bank. Right then ladies and gents. The only thing I would say it's missing. If, if it's missing every anything whatsoever. Is just one of those chest straps. The back is super super comfortable. Can't complain about that. I've loaded this bag up to the maximum. What we're going to do now, I'm going to put it down here on the table and we'll just run through what I've got in this bag. Flip it off, we'll turn it up to the bank. It's got a decent handle to put the bag down when you've got it off your back. First thing from there, it's already got a wet mat on the bottom, keep it from uh, soaking up any moisture. If it's damp when you turn up on the bank, lie it down like that on the floor, open your two buckles up. Roll that side open there, roll that side open there. What I've done here, I've still got a bit of room in here. So the middle compartment, I've loaded this up with everything that I need. I've got my waterproof joggers and uh, lightweight coat all wrapped up. I've got my hoodie, my rig safe, full up with rigs ready to go. I've got the Fox tackle box with everything that I need. The pop-ups that I keep just for a 
essentials, 24 hours. I don't take loads with me, just enough for what I need, two or three different flavours, a couple of pop-ups, and I take one tub with two or three different flavours in. I've got a kilo of bait there, always back up. I generally use freezer bait, so I'll take that in the bait bag. But yeah, I've got everything in there. Across the top here, I've got all my bits that I need to get to quick and easy, spare batteries. I've got my phone charger. That there's spare for essential bits, like me bits and pieces, my camera, batteries and things like that on the day. I can put that in there just before I go. I've got my lead pouch. The idea of this bag was to get it quick and easy, and it is quick and easy, but you can have this set up on the bank when you're there, when you're fishing, leave it laid out. That's the main reason why I like this bag. So this side's all my cooking equipment. I've got my Ridge Monkey sandwich maker. I've got my brew kit from Tracker, which got everything in. All I do with mine, I customize it. So I take out one of the cups. I take out the pots. I just have my coffee. I use sweetener for my sugar. I've got my kettle in there and I've got the essential toilet depositories because you need to have them. Because you know when you turn up at a bank and they ain't got no toilet roll, you don't want to be shit eye, as they say. We track a cooker in there. I've got a full 500 mil of gas, is it? A 440G of gas. So that all fits in there. No sweat whatsoever. Not over packing the bag out. And um, yeah, happy days. I like it all nice and neat and tidy because it's easier when you're fishing. So this side is all my, my hand towels. I catch a lot of carp, see, so I need to make sure I've got plenty of hand towels. I freeze a bit excessive, but one's for me dishes, one's for myself, and one's for the carp. <laughs> that being said, look, in this one here, I've got my catapult, I've got my bite alarms, I've got my bivy light, I've got head torch, scales, all of my bits and pieces that I need for in that side. More than enough room. This is all set up for a free rod setup as well, so there's three bank sticks. Got three buzz bars set up in there, all ready to go. And also in this one, I've got my bank sticks, my quarter bobbins there. I've also got a free set of quarter bobbins. Not that I need to take them, but I thought I'd put them all in there, all in one place. Got the old uh, Matrix quadrupod. I fish two on doubles and then one on a single. I put my hammer in there, just to hammer in my bank sticks. I forgot why I put that in there. And I've also got um, my net float in there as well. Looking at that, I forgot I just did that. More than happy with it. Fits everything that I need. It's tidy, it's smart. Get yourself on the Nash Dwarf. Super, super happy with that. More than what I wanted. Yeah, quality. Can't wait to get out of the bank now. As soon as the weather warms up a little bit. I turned into a bit of a fair weather fisherman these days. But, uh, you know, means must. Get the brolly out and I'll be all over it. So I'll catch you on the bank. Imagine having that in the tank swimming around. Little red gurner. Oh, he's giving you some hammer there, boy, isn't it? That's a nice colour one, Jake. Oh. <laughs> Double take again. Cracking day still. Yeah. That's amazing, that.